Cut that bad buddy. So in today's one, we're going to learn how to put together a VDB. Okay, VDBs are like these files that uh, kind of make up like vectors. Anyway, you can create beautiful effects. Uh, if you go to Django FX, you can download a program to make a lot of any kind of v, VB blah, 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 by yourself. It's awesome. But now we're going to go to Django FX and they give away free ones. Go to download free VDBs and let's pick one. Okay, you're going to pick. So let's pick this fire. It's beautiful. Now look, they're very big. 5.5 gigs for a little bit of fire. Look at that. Anyway, get through all this, download it. You'll get a zip file. Open the zip file, unzip it, and you're good to go. Okay? Put it somewhere. Whatever. Whatever, mate. All right. So, once that's done, that's bloody long, isn't it? Right, once you've done that, you got your readme, you got the file, and this contains your VDBs. Okay, that little folder here. Bam, there's your long list. Go into Unreal, make a new folder or something, mate. Right, I'm going to make one. And basically, I'm just going to call it VDB. For now, name it what you want. Open it, right click, and we're going to say import. Right, let's import a VB. Blah, 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 blah. Click the first one, click open, and you'll get this little thing that pops up. It's all good, just import it. Right, bam, don't change anything. It will take ages, mate, to import. Once it's done, uh, basically what you want to go look for is go to all and look for sparse, not with a C, with an S. And you'll see a material there. Right click it, make an instance material, and then drag it into your VDB folder, right? So drag it into your VDB, move here, and you've got that. Name it to what you need. I'll put a fire, okay? Because it's a fire, <laughs> okay? Now, open up your material that you made and scroll down to global texture parameter values and just add in your VDB. Okay, there it is. And you can close that. Awesome. Now, go into that little block thing and hover over all classes and just type HET and you'll get this, this little node, header something or other. Anyway, that's imported into your scene now and with this new heterogene, whatever, you can open it up, go to the element, and in the details, just pick your fire. Okay, so now you've got that attached, and it automatically creates your VDB. There it is. Bam. All good. Right, now we want it to move. Scroll down on the heterotegen, whatever it's called. Click on playing, looping, and there it is. And that's, that's it. That's essentially everything to import a VDB. Now you can move it around. You can use lights. It's affected by lights now. I've noticed that uh, trying, uh, what are those lights called? Those ones. Rectangular lights work the best with it. Uh, if you want them to cast shadows, go into your project settings and just type in shadow and you'll see there, head to butter, butter, shadows, cast shadows. Click that on. And now you can just mess around. You can mess around with the different lights. Uh, like I said, rectangular lights seem to be working the best. Uh, and you can open up its material and you can mess with the colors and how dense it is and just mess around with all the attributes. There's a ton there. You can mess around with all these attributes and get the kind of look and feel. You can composite them better into your scene. And that's it. That's how quick and easy it is to set up a VDB. And there it is in the shot. Now this shot's taken from a, a three-part tutorial series I made called Build This Now. Everything here is created for free. You don't have to pay for anything, no elements. It's all free. So check it out if you haven't. It's pretty cool. Uh, you, it teaches you how to put this exact scene, this entire scene together, and you learn a ton of shit along the way. All right, people. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you have a lovely day, mate. And I'll leave you with this. There's the VDB. Did you see it, mate? Didn't comp it too well. But, you know, I'll go back. I'll go back. Anyway, have a good weekend. And I'll speak to you guys later. Bye, guys.